Alright, hello and welcome back. I'm Sean T.D. Stewart, the home gamer, and I'm here again playing Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. The previous the quest we just completed was called In the Footsteps of the Bardom of the Brave. And now we're going to continue with the main scenario by talking here with Lucy again. And accepting the next main scenario quest is actually the last main scenario quest we can do. Lucy would very much like to know that Hannah and Gisetsu are alright. So more material to get out of this one. You don't think they... Of course not. He and Gassetta would come out of any minute now. I suppose we could chat a little while while we wait. Oh, so the other day I said to Alize, I said... So I guess we're going to find Gassetta and Hyen, perhaps? Cutscene. Okay, I was gonna say, okay, there they are. They both came out. All right, good. Mission accomplished. Everything still in one piece? More or less, I. That mountainous monstrosity came as quite a surprise. Who knew that the step held such secrets? Yes, who knew? I see the two of you emerged similarly unscathed. Well then, by my reckoning, that is not left to prevent us from taking part in the Nardom. Oh, are we ambushed? You! Yea, you who have walked Bardom's metal, newborn warriors of the steppe, our Han demands an audience. You will come. Really? You will? I remember those clothes. He's Oranir, isn't he? What should we do? Ordinarily, I would politely decline, but this may be an opportunity to assess their strength. And we do have some time before the Nardom begins. All right. If it all goes to plan, they will be fighting for us soon enough. What say you? Shall we go and greet our comrades to be? Why not? Whatever happens, we shouldn't keep Siren and the others waiting. Let's be ready to make a swift exit, all right? All right. Good job. We accept Johan's generous invitation. Lead the way. Oh, this is their place. This is where I was about to go anyways. Two banners. So it's not just Oranir we're dealing with. Most radiant brother Magni, we have brought the ones you seek. You conquered Bardem's metal. As warriors of the Mall, I. You were the Han here, yes? Why have you summoned us? Mayhap to propose a joint endeavor? Nay, Doman, we shall not speak as equals. Born of the sun are Oranir, and born of the earth are you. 
When I learned of trespassers, I bade my warriors take their measure to flay them if they failed. But if by the grace of Azim they should survive their trials and emerge anointed, then bring them hither to pay tribute. Tribute, should it prove satisfactory, shall earn you the favor of the sun. His beloved shall bask in his radiance, and their supplications be duly considered. Guy's a jerk. So you want us to bow down and serve you? What if we don't feel like it? The Defiant will suffer in shadow. It would be an affront to the resplendent Azim himself to refuse this generous offer when by rights you should be condemned. But, in lieu of tribute, swear fealty to the sun. Pledge to him your body and soul. Promise to serve him unto death, and you may know his glory. A generous offer granted to but few, though perchance this is too merciful. It seems our brothers of the Buddhaga want you. The men only. Like the Borlak and women. Though you know them not either, I'm sure. No matter. All you need know is that you will serve one way or another. That much does indeed seem plain. However, as we are but newborn warriors who know little of your customs, we struggle to conceive of ways in which we might be of service to the most gracious and illustrious son. You make mock of us, Doman. Do not do so again. You will be given a task. It will be difficult. You will carry it out. When you have accepted this, you may ask me what it is. All right. So you're the first to step forward. Hmm. Bold or reckless, I see why that took cool favors you. The Nadam approaches and the Oranir will reign supreme once more, such as the will of the Father of Zin. Yet only fools think to triumph by the grace of the gods alone, and we are not fools. Your task will be to aid us in our preparations, but two will tell you the rest. All right, complete. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'm Sean Stephen Stewart, the home gamer. And I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. The quest we just completed was called The Children of the Zine. And we are actually level cap now. With our last, that was our last level 65 level that we're able to complete. And so in the next episode will be a tuning ethers, currents, and uh, leveling. Doing leveling dungeons and local quests in order to, or side quests in order to level to level 66. So we'll see y'all then in the next episode, but we'll do that. All right, bye.